19th, 2020. <laughs> uh, so normally we go to Orange Theory three to four times a week. Um, but because of all this, obviously they're closed. So they've been releasing kind of daily workouts that you can do in your home. I should probably do this later too. Um, and it's actually kind of nice. Like the, it's the same kind of thing, but it's more geared towards things that you can actually do in your own home. So not really any weights or anything like that. It's the, the little things we can do to stay sane in these times. But other than that, it's just work. Work, work, work. All the work. Time. Andrea went to the store, got some more stuff for us. Got some rice. Look at that big old bag of rice. This should hopefully last us a while. Hopefully. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, we don't eat that much rice, but we do need it because we were kind of running low. Erin girl went on a... She's like, yeah. Erin <laughs> girl. Erin girl. Hi. Hi. She went on a hike. Did you have fun? You didn't bully any other puppies today? Yeah, and it's uh, and we're having kind of a late lunch. It's about 1:20 right now. Making some. What is it? B C T A on a bagel. So, bacon, cucumber, tomato, avocado on a bagel on an everything bagel. It's, yeah, we're making bacon sandwiches. Bacon sandwiches. You gotta keep things interesting, right? Yep. Yeah. Finally worked out this morning. Mm hmm. That felt good. Actually, earn a shower. <laughs> and Sweet. that, uh, that dancing that you saw was a promotion. She got a promotion. Yeah. Well, she knew she was gonna get one, but the, the, it got finalized today. And now she knows her new salary and her new title. And it's a it's a good move. It's a really good move. Mm -hmm. And she's happy. I'm very happy. And now she's getting a stock of uh, Zoom background, virtual background images for Zoom meetings. Because mm -hmm. it's hilarious. Yeah. Unfortunately, we my company uses uh, Google Apps, so we use Hangouts Meet or whatever. So we you don't, can't do a virtual background on that. I don't either. think so. Mm -hmm. It's it's very very basic. Like it's really like you can share your screen. You can share it, and like you can do your camera, and that's pretty much it. Ah! Oh! What does it say? I need to update my Mac OS. What are you on? Oh, what? you're yeah, you're way behind. Oh, I thought I updated this. Oh. We got some bacon going, which is actually probably almost done. Look at that bacon. Come on, focus. There you go. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. So sizzly. Oh, wow. These shrunk up a lot. It's fine. They're actually kind of perfect. <laughs> yeah, they're perfect for sandwiches. Slicing that bagel. Oh, 
Look at that. Look at that. Lunch. Lunch. Yum. Ready to eat. While my computer updates. Yeah. The perpetual about 24 minutes remaining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Google, turn on the TV. If you are Asian, you should know what the Wallis is. At least that's what it's called in Tagalog. This is a Wallis, as Jalen. Rose likes to say, Wallies. Anyway, it's a sweep broom and it is meant for light, delicate things like thread and hair, which are all of the things that we have in abundance of at this moment. Because these things, as you can see, capture the hair in the bristles. The bristles are too stiff. Bristles too stiff. They they catch everything. Not ideal. Whereas this, really light, is where you can press the bristles down and sweep and be gentle, not to kick it up. This is a quality YouTube content. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna try to salvage this one. This is what happens when you're on quarantine. <laughs> She's been talking about getting this damn broom forever. I have, and we I we never go to the Asian markets anyway. And I just happened I was like, I really wanted to go to the Asian market because I wanted to cook Filipino food. Which will happen once we clean off the kitchen. And I was like, you know what? I found it. And I'm very, very happy about it. Very happy about it. Good. Because look, so much easier. Hi, Grilly. He's like, no, I don't like the camera. Kick. Not Grilly. Oh, 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 Billy. <laughs> It's either string or dog hair that's on me. Thread, not string. Well, so a good thing about this shelter in place. Um, it's not quarantined. It's not quarantined, it's shelter in place. A good thing about it is that, you know, we have a lot of time and we have a lot of time at home. So we're cooking more and we're vlogging. Our, our plan is to vlog. More. Our plan is to vlog. And so I've actually decided to double down on sewing. Um, I took sewing classes back when in high school when they offered home economics. I'm sure they didn't call it that anymore. But anyway, took sewing classes in high school. I've had a sewing machine since high school. So I was like, I really want to get back to sewing again. Um, dedicated some time I'll, to build a shelf, a table, desk to have my own space. So, and I also signed up for an online sewing academy. Shout out to Mimi G on here on YouTube, found you. Um, because I was looking for patterns and I saw that you had a YouTube channel and you had your own sewing academy online. Anyway, not doing one of her patterns right now, but so I'm currently sewing this dress, sewing this view of it. Um, and I thought I was done. Um, I followed all the instructions and the sizing on the back. And I had decided to do a bigger skirt than, I, than the top. And when I put it all together yesterday, skirt was too big so now i have to redo the whole skirt and now i am on our table 
retracing out the pattern and then doing the skirt all over again. Good thing is the skirt's the easiest part. Top I already done and then um, yeah and then I have three other patterns that are sitting at my workstation and three other four other fabric options in my fabric box that I want to get to plus the exercises that I have on the sewing online academy I'm just practicing so I'm trying to keep busy I'm sewing sewing for clothes that I'm gonna wear when we don't have to shelter in place I guess <laughs> um, and yeah so I am I have tracing paper, I have the pattern cut out, and I'm tracing the size that I actually need. Um, the pattern that I bought actually went only went up to a size 14, and I decided to do the size 14 skirt, so that's why I cut it out anyway. But now I have to go smaller, so I will cut out the smaller, the smaller one on the original tissue. Um, because just in case I want a bigger 14 skirt to make for somebody later on. And then that is my sewing desk and shelf. Um, Murphy desk, shout out to Ikea as always. And yeah, this is us trying to stay as productive as possible. Once I start finishing this out and once Derek actually, you know, gets to the kitchen and cleaning that. We're going to cook some Filipino food. So I'll take you that. I guess it probably can matter. Sinigang. Pork belly. It's a tamarind soup base with pork belly. Actually, one of my favorite Filipino foods ever. And when I get a hankering, oh, look at that bacon. It's a good. Well, it's pork belly. Oh yes. And when I get a hankering for Filipino food, that's your go-to. Yeah. And then maybe next week we make kare kare. Mm, yes, that we need the pressure cooker for. Yes, that's what we need the pressure cooker for. And I was actually really sad there wasn't any oxtails at oh, the store were they, today. They were all off. Cheap overhead rig. <laughs> AKA my husband. <laughs> yes. It, it's just me holding it. <laughs> so the onion and the onion and the Bringing up the lens. Some of you have asked why we haven't posted in so long. There's a couple reasons. The biggest reason was more than anything, we just got lazy. <laughs> so after the wedding, we just kind of shut down for basically like two, maybe three months. 
We basically didn't do anything. No projects, the house became a mess. It was, it was really bad. Um, we think it was probably just because we were so like, go, 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 get things done um, for the wedding that when it came time, like when all of it was done, everything was paid off, like all the tips were given out, all the other ancillary things were dealt with. We just kind of were like, ah, oh, for like two months. That's, that's probably the closest thing that I can, I can think is why. Yeah. Um, and then also just kind of, because I'm, I'm the one who edits the videos. Like I never really got into a rhythm with editing. So our, our videos were always delayed by weeks, if not months. And so it just, we had this backlog of videos and it was just kind of like, was it Sisyphus who's, who's rolling the stone up the hill? And every time he gets near the top, it just kind of like rolls back down. Like you can never get it to the top. Um, so it just felt like that. And so now I felt since, uh, since we're stuck in the house, uh, we might as well do these more informal videos, like just kind of throw them together. Kind of got inspiration from uh, Potato Jet, Jean, Jean and Gata. And just kind of seeing that the you don't have to spend as much time on these videos because they're so informal. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. We just... Needless to say, he does plan on catching up on us. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I still... I've been, the next video is, the next video that I'm editing that's like a, like a real video is uh, my bachelor party. Uh, we went to Tahoe. I went to Tahoe with a, with a couple buddies and my brother. Um, and yeah, that's, that's coming soon. Uh, I don't know when. I'll probably get a chance to actually edit it over the weekend. Um, and finish it up. I mean, it's close. It's almost there. I just gotta put the last few touches on it. And then continue with the Us Against the Wedding series. Our wedding was in San Diego and we went to, we went down there almost a week ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And because we had to deal with a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, because obviously we live up here in the Bay Area, so it's uh, we're doing kind of a remote planning thing. And it's just, uh, so we had to finish up some things. And so there's a few episodes of that that are going. And then the actual wedding. Um, we did hire a videographer, and so I have a ton of footage for that. And we, we made a deal. Clarification: We hired somebody to video the wedding. Yeah, so we, didn't we hire a videographer. Well, no, he's a videographer. He is, but we didn't hire him for that purpose. So we made a deal with this guy. We just wanted them to film because we wanted to put our own spin on the edit. Uh, and so they were like, "Yeah, sure, we'll just dump all the raw footage and and audio and whatnot and onto a hard drive that you give us, and we'll send it off to you." And so. That's been sitting on the hard drive. Um, we've we've looked through some of it, and it's it's pretty cringy. <laughs> I totally don't want to hear it. it it's ugh. TLDR. We both got so drunk, and it's not. Spoiler good. alert! Jeez. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert! It was our wedding. Of course, we're gonna get drunk. Well, yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. So TLDR is we. Woke up in a room that wasn't ours, wearing all of our clothes from the reception. No idea where our key, where the key to our room was. Had nothing. Yeah. We have nothing. And then just kind of piecing things together. It was, it was pretty much like a hangover. It was a hangover. Like the hangover movie. Like, so like that. Like, what happened? 
And then like finding out all this shit that happened over that night, not just to us, but to other people, other guests. Yeah. Oh my God, that was great. Our whole wedding was wrong. Yeah. Everybody was wrong. Um, so that'll be coming soon-ish in the next couple months. Also, since you're now seeing videos from us, um, we'll be updating. You'll see the videos as they come in and we update you. But if you have any questions. Yeah. Feel free them, to leave a comment down below. We'll be. Maybe go through them. We'll answer. be much more active now. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Definitely want, you know, there are some of you that reached out and be like, mm -hmm. what's happening? Yeah. So if you want have any questions for us, updates on our life. Oh, by the way, we have a dog. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that in we'll a different, cover that. different um, video. And yeah, definitely look, looking forward to hearing from you guys throughout these weeks. Staying productive, staying vlogging. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. Um, she's going to finish her synagogue. We're going to eat that. And then I have in about 15 minutes, I have race wars. It's a boy's thing. <laughs> Is it? Does it make it worse if I say that it's all, like, thirty-something white men, who participate in this race wars? Maybe. So yeah. So uh, until tomorrow. It's us against the world. Daily vlogs. <laughs> She's not amused. the camera but you're the cutest <laughs> Kick. oh squirm